Here we have a Car Arms model CW9. If you watch all my recent shooting range videos, I shot this, uh, I've shot 50 rounds through this. Uh, mostly perfect. This is a, a polymer frame pocket pistol, chambered in 9mm. <clears throat> Comes with one 7 round magazine. It is the, uh, the low end of uh, Carr's uh, pocket pistols. They have uh, a few different models ranging from steel frames to polymer frames. There's a P series, that's the higher end of the polymer frame series. And this uh, CW is the, I guess, the entry level. Although it's entry level, I feel like it's very well built. It feels really solid, everything's really precise. Um, I bought this uh, second hand, although it was, it was brand new, unfired condition when I bought it. So I got a pretty good deal on it. They usually range for um, anywhere between four to four fifty street price. I believe MSRP is probably closer to five five fifty. Similar pistols in this range include the Ruger LC9, uh, the Caltech PF9, and also the Diamondback and DB9. They are uh, pocket pistols. They're about as small as uh, pocket 9mm that allows most people to get a full hand grip on it. And get all three fingers on this firearm easily and it feels really good. It's really thin because it is a single stack magazine. This is about the same size as a, uh, a Springfield EMP. That's also chambered in 9mm. But obviously this is going to be a lot lighter being that it's polymer framed. It has a... Uh, no external safeties. Uh, I believe there is a firing pin block uh, so that the, the the firing pin will only drop if the trigger is pulled back. It's a pretty heavy trigger. It is clear. Nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magazine. It is pretty heavy. It is feels like a full double action pull of a revolver. But it does break pretty crisp and the pull is consistent all the way through. Pretty long reset, but for a gun that is meant to go in your pocket, this is uh, this is what to be expected. The sights in the rear are steel, uh, driftable. These are bar dot up and down sights. The front one is a polymer staked front sight, non-adjustable. And give you a little idea of the sight picture. That's what that looks like. This weighs, let me go ahead and put a scale on here for you. I'm going to go ahead and do both with and without the magazine. Without the magazine, just the firearm is 478 grams, which is uh, 1 pound 7 eighth ounces, which is uh, 16 and 7 eighths, almost 17 ounces. With the magazine, no ammo, we're looking at 1 pound. Two, two and five eighths ounces. That's eighteen and five eighths ounces. So it's relatively light. It's not the lightest pistol you can find, but it's relatively light. Let me do some measurements for you. Uh, the car website will say that this, the length of this firearm is five point nine inches, but that that just refers to the length of the slide, which is indeed five point five point nine inches. But if you measure the entire length of the gun, which in the rear, the, uh, the grip goes further past beyond the rear of the slide, we're looking more like um, six and a quarter overall length. Height, including the, including the sights um, without the magazine, it's four and a half inches. Including the magazine base plate, you're looking at almost five inches uh, in uh, in height. It's 0.9 inches wide, including the furthest part of the of the firearm, which is the uh, the slice stop. And the barrel length is 3.6 inches, which is pretty pretty incredible for a firearm this small. The barrel length is actually longer than that of a Glock 26, just by very little. 
just by maybe uh, 0.1 uh, or one tenth of an inch. <clears throat> I shot 50 rounds through this, uh, mostly flawless, although the manufacturer does recommend a 200 round uh, break in period. But I didn't have any any failures that I couldn't attribute to my reloads. Um, the the spring is pretty stiff, so I believe I had one failure to lock back, uh, but that's going to wear in as the spring gets uh, loosened up. And I also had one, I believe it was this firearm, had a light primer strike. And I think that was due to me uh, seating the primer too far into the primer pocket. Take down of this is pretty easy. Although not as easy as a Glock, <clears throat> you go ahead and push the uh, the slide back, and there's two lines here: one on the frame, one on the slide. Once you line those up, you push on this uh, nub right here on the other side, which is the other end of the slide stop. Once that's back, slide that all the way out. Pull the trigger. That's how you feel strip. Take out the spring guide rod. The guide rod is steel, which is good, full length steel. And that's the barrel. I'll go ahead and take that out for you. Interesting design in the barrel. It's kind of like a 1911 um, uh, lug there. So, captures the, uh, captures the barrel with this pin when it's inside the firearm. And it kind of moves in this position as it's being fired. Okay, let's put it back together. Goes back the same way, it comes off. Oh, something interesting. There's uh, There's no metal rails up around this area. There are just a couple of metal tabs towards the end, but then there's these small little metal rails inside the dust cover on either side. That lines up with these notches on the front of the slide. So, <clears throat> what I, <clears throat> I don't know about reliability after, after uh, thousands of rounds, but definitely so far if you use it for self-protection, um, <clears throat> not necessarily for range use, it should stand up to uh, to a fair, a fair amount of use. Okay, so put it back together. You first put it back in the uh, the assembled position. Slide that in partially, and then go ahead and pull that back to the notch. And then just kind of wiggle that firing pin stop until it That in better. There. Like I said, it's a little bit tougher to get back together and take apart than a Glock. And it is very similar to a Glock, and it's a it's kind of a Glock inspired design. It's not an identical copy. And again, Glock doesn't make a single stack <clears throat> nine millimeter pocket pistol like this. Go ahead and show you my Glock 23 side by side. It is kind of like a like a little cousin of the Glock pistols. Again, this is the Car CW9. Very nice firearm. I enjoy shooting it. And this will be most likely my CCW carry gun.